Good afternoon students. I hope everyone is fine and safe at home. Today I will start with chapter 8 that is OO Writer. So let us begin with the chapter. Now I am taking the chapter OO Writer. Introduction. It means to use computer to create, edit and print the document. Creating means to make a new document and editing means to make certain changes and print means to have the printout of the document. In brief, we can say that it is a user-friendly computer application software that helps to create, edit, format and save the document. Now here we have format, it means to beautify the document or rather to make the document attractive by applying certain formatting features and saving means to save a document with certain name, uh, name. so this is saving a document. Beside this, we can even insert the following things like we can insert images, sound, video clips, animation, charts, header and footer and even the frames. Beside this, there are inbuilt features also like we have mail merge, tables, formulas and cross-referencing. Now I come to the second article that is 8.2, the key feature or rather the advantages of O Writer. These, these goes like editing and permanent storage. We can edit and we can store or, uh, and save the document. Then we have tiles and footnotes, headers and footers. Headers are the information which we give at the top of the document and footer is the information which we give at the bottom of the document. Next is embedding images, videos and animation. It is simply the inserting in place is an advantage. Here we can find a word and replace it with a new word. Next, we have page layout, preview and print setup. Then we have mail merge, tables, charts and macros. We have spell and grammar check and the SORIS facility or advantage. Spell and grammar is simply to look for spelling and grammar check in the document and the SORIS is to find synonyms for a specific word. Next goes cross-referencing, auto-indexing. Then we have help feature and forward and backward software compatibility. The last article is the terms used in the word processor. The very first term used in word processor is the tools or the different toolbars. These are the graphical shortcuts like we have the standard toolbar, formatting toolbars. We have document area. It is the area where we display the text. Insertion point, the blinking vertical line from where we type the text. Next is selection of the text or selecting the text. This can be done with the help of the keyboard or the mouse. Then we have inserting and in editing. Inserting means we are inserting a new character using a keyboard or a, a keyboard and this is inserting and editing means to correct or make any changes in the existing document. Last is word wrap. It means when a character or a word being entered overflows the document line area limit then it begins from the new line. This is word area. Now I will be explaining you about the figure. Here you can see we have this figure, this is the tool, these are the space for the different toolbars. We can have standard toolbars, formatting toolbars like this. You can see the white area here, this is all known as the document area. And you, uh, you can see here this is the vertical blinking line, it keeps on blinking and this is the place uh, where we start the text. And this is what is known as insertion point. That's all for today, thank you.